So can I use my example Absolutely. now? Absolutely, okay. You, you, you in my go. city. I don't know if this has anything to do with her city. I'm not even going to go there. But maybe this is a, a gender thing. And, you know, please give me your comments or your emails <laughs> or whatever you got to say. Eat them up. Uh, female <laughs> ladies. But... And please don't call the ladies females. I hate that term. This is just a side oh, note. Wow. I hate the term females. Not because we're not female by gender. There are male and females. But the way that culture uses the word females is so degrading. I would much rather the women or the female gender be called women, ladies, girls even, as opposed to females. Because the way the culture uses is like, yeah, these females out here and, you know, I can't stand when females... Do even women use that word, and it just sounds fully, fully degrading to me. I'm sorry. This is just a side note I'm making. So she just got angry, and we just <laughs> I was worked just through frustrated. it. We, we communicated. <laughs> yeah. She expressed herself. Uh, I listened, yes. and I heard what she said, so I'm not going to call y'all females <laughs> anymore. Don't. I'm going to call y'all women, ladies, yes. girls. Yes. Um, mm -hmm. Opposite sex. Is that okay? <laughs> All that, but not females. Not females. Okay. <laughs> so my thing with how when we get into or used to get into arguments mm -hmm. and still do sometimes yeah. we're not perfect yeah we're not saying but that. so <laughs> we could be arguing over um i didn't take the garbage out mm -hmm. and so something as simple as that just something minuscule something that really is not going to uh cause any type of devastation <laughs> to our lives according to you uh -huh. you know so <laughs> i didn't take the garbage out when she asked me to okay and so I'm sitting watching the game and watching TV and, you know, minding my own business. And it's been two hours since she asked me and the garbage is still sitting there. Now she's like, why did not, did I not take out the garbage? Mm -hmm. And so now it's a whole full on conversation. Mm -hmm. So it's not just, you know, let me know, tell me again. Now it's a full on conversation mm -hmm. is why you did not you know, take out the garbage because you don't love me enough. <laughs> and now we're two steps away from divorce court because I didn't take out the garbage. So it goes from zero to a hundred <laughs> real quick. Because all of it is bunched in there now in that one event that you didn't take out the trash. It means so much. Right, right. Mm -hmm. And so not only is she angry, but we're almost, you know, about to be separated because I didn't take out the garbage. So it, it starts at one level and then, you know, it grows into this big whole mm -hmm. mountain. And so I could never just understand why it just grew like that. Mm -hmm. But that's, you know. I think that's because um, those are little things that never really got told to you. Or maybe times I did, maybe didn't feel heard when I said it or something. Mm -hmm. Maybe we didn't process it well. Um, cause there is a, a healthy way to process and, and hear each other out. So then really your broken record does not have to be, you know, you don't have to keep repeating the same story or mm -hmm. the same frustration because if you, if you learn the art of reflective listening here, go clinical, but you know, if you learn the art of reflective listening, where you basically say, okay, what I hear you saying is that it just bothered me that you didn't take the trash out this time because it feels like you were disregarding what I had to say. Mm -hmm. Oh, as opposed to, what's wrong with her? Why mm -hmm. are you always acting up? Why you, you know, you're mm -hmm. going off. So that art of reflective listening gives me the chance to say, yeah, that really bothered me. Then he can say, okay, mm -hmm. I get it. I, I understand. I didn't really intend for it to be like that. What I I, I, I was going to get to, I just didn't realize it would have bothered you this way because I would have gotten to it earlier. Mm -hmm. Could it also be that when you were younger or in a past relationship and your efforts to, you know, nicely ask your mate to do something was disregarded and thwarted. And so now here it is again, me in a different form, asking that to you with a different and, face. and mm -hmm. with a different face. Mm -hmm. And now I get all the backlash all when the other person that didn't do Got it. Got away with nothing with mur murder, basically. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. So let, let's, let, let's go there. Yeah, now that's true. Miss Clinical. That's true. It Ms. could Therapist. be. It could be because your history is very much present. And when your history is present and you haven't processed your history properly, that can come into your present, mm -hmm. your present state and create and run, run, create havoc. Mm -hmm. Because just like you're saying, I might be pulling in some stuff that happened and have nothing to do with you. That's right. But it look and feel the same. Yeah, so let's say that. Let's say that. Let, but let, I don't let think that would be anything relative to that trash can situation. It could be circumstantial. Mm -hmm. Of course it can. It, of course it, it can. can be and that's how I diffuse arguments. Oh, of course goodness. it can. It, you're right. Too, 
That's not You're true. right. No, because that's, You're that's going right. flat. That's going flat. We don't want to go flat. We have to stay engaged and stay active. And that was something else. He was it was stonewall me. That would be like, that's what this is. Just, okay, I'm not even here. Yeah, whatever you say, ma'am. Mm -hmm. Whatever you say, gotcha. babe. Mm -hmm. it's, yeah. <laughs> and that is invalidating, too. <laughs> it's like you just would, unwilling to come in here with me. I don't need you to argue. But I do need you to be present. Don't just have your body here and your mind is elsewhere. So <laughs> that's not right either. <laughs> yeah. So how do we handle being angry? Um, we have gotten a lot better through the years. Anger um, and getting angry at each other was definitely a huge part of uh, our early years and even beyond uh, walking around the house, not speaking to each other, literally cold as ice. Um, same room, not even talking, you know, same bed, not saying anything, um, some of that foolery, uh, but it was the truth. Mm -hmm. Now, what we should do and what we do a little bit better at now is, um, I know, you know, the, the scripture does say, don't let the sun go down on your wrath. Oh, we went, you let the sun go down yeah, on our wrath it, many yeah, nights. Yeah, many nights it went down on our wrath. We were so, <laughs> so out of, out of order, <laughs> many nights out of <laughs> wrath, but anyway, um, but, but, but growing up, it doesn't feel as good mm -hmm. to be angry when you can have peaceful days, right. you know, right. that becomes the motivator mm -hmm. more than the angry issue. Yeah. And, and that's my thing is to always have peace and to make sure that there's a climate of peace in the house, because when there's a climate of peace in the house, it fosters growth for communication, conversation, you know, um, we can be angry at each other but we can still communicate and get business done mm -hmm. you know the kids don't feel like okay something's going on with mom and dad so let me just stay clear or can i ask you know a certain question a simple question to my parents mm -hmm. you know when they're angry and you know now that i brought that up you know you should not argue back and forth with your spouse in front of your children because mm -hmm. that creates confusion as to what's going on and now your kids are put in a position where they have to pick sides mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. if they're going to choose the dad's side they're going to choose the mom's side mm -hmm. and so that's a precarious um situation that mm -hmm. you're putting your children in is a dangerous uh situation because now you know they feel like they're caught in the middle mm -hmm. and that they have to do something and they don't have the wherewithal mm -hmm. uh or the understanding of what to do yeah. and so um or the emotional intelligence to be able to navigate that. Absolutely, mm -hmm. absolutely.